Lord. I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. He said anything to have for me. Whoa! Baby, you are a lot of the world around. Oh, my God, so show for me.
and then swallow the spirit hey. in the name of God of hosts I stand in this month of April May, June. May, June. This is December. All the way to December. You will shout a mighty amen. Everything that should cause your death. Everything that should cause my death. Everything that should cause the death of my family. Will you say amen? You will stretch forth your hands. And you will pray with all your strength and mind. What I'm not entitled to. It's 20 years. 30 years. That I'm qualified for it. Lord, it's me. 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 When you want to testify, you remember this prayer was prayed. I don't know who believes. I come in the name of the Lord. The one that called me is just beside me. Jesus is living in me, I live in him. He said, I'm with you to the end of the world. I use his authority to bless right now. As you say, man. Raise up your hands. I'm asked to prophesy. I'm not asked to pray. That every hour of death in our bodies push it out. And I said, but you just said we should pray that we should not be tormented. And God said we should pray. Raise up your hands. Anyone that says the mighty amen. Everything they planted in your body you know, that you don't know about, that they are put as a bomb. If you can say it, it is not a There is a particular prophecy what is that you have been told for a long time. It hasn't come to pass. And you are thinking the others have come to pass, but this one has refused to come to pass. If you say amen, I say amen. This week, I don't want to share. That sword is a weapon that is being used. And I said the habits, they always memorize the words. That's what they use to say their incantations. So if they don't know the words, they won't be able to say their incantations. Because that's their power. The word swallows word. The rod that was in Moses' hand, it was word. Who is the word? Jesus Christ. And I said, what well, we can use to fight that we will not be tormented is the word. But I explained to us fully how there is power in the word. And I said, everything else can die, but the word doesn't die. 
I told us where I'm coming from. That really we used to do spiritual works. And they call it the works that they do. That what made me live it is. Because I examined one to the other. And I read the Bible. And I said, I swear it's the word of God. Hebrew 4 12 said it. That the word of God is living, it's powerful. It is sharper than any two edged sword. That it pierces into the innermost parts of the heart. Every negative word that has come out into your creation, it's a whole being. It doesn't die. Elisha said, by this time tomorrow, little shall become plenty at the gate of Samaria. And there was a chief that arose and spoke his own word. But he said, even if the heavens are open, like it cannot be so. And Elisha was inside. It. He said, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not taste of it. And that's what stood. The Bible said truly that the first came to pass, that the second came to pass, but the third swallowed it. The first decided to become plenty at the gate of Samaria. It came to pass that way. The second said, even if the heavens are open, that it cannot be so. Then Elisha now erased his words and he said, You will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat of it. I don't know who is relying on herbs or leaves. I don't know who is using any. I was pleading with us last week that make sure you know the word. Don't just say it, but believe in it. That's the letter that your father has written to you. And there's no how you can know God. You will know him from his word. Today I want to speak to us that the world can torment one by afflicting one with what is rightfully theirs. What is most terrible is this. What you are entitled to, then they should afflict you and take it away. The Bible said Esau wept. He didn't weep because of himself. He had children as well. What Jacob collected, children of Jacob received from him. So if it was Esau that received the children, then the children of Israel must have been and asked to pray for him. You are entitled to something. And the world is afflicting you. The concern that you are is not where you should be. He was a priest as well. And God gave him the gift of authority and dreams. And in the neighborhood, they honored him. And even a priest that is made, they say that truly his calling is certain. But he didn't go far 
for the 70. He wasn't able to see 70 years of age before he died. And he told us about the story of his family. There's a difference in praying. There's a difference in knowing God's word. Are you here? There's a difference in being able to pray so well. Four hours. Four hours. Five hours. There's now a difference in knowing God's word. And I thought maybe that's how it's been written in their family. Where is the secret being revealed? From the word of God. Not knowing that God did not make any covenant of short life with us. The short life. The covenant of long life. That's what he has given to us all. And some people entered into their family and took it away. Where did I see it? I discovered it from the word of God. He said, you will go on to your fathers. In the right old age, and in long life, you will be buried in good health. And when I read that, my father not, never told me that. Till all the way till he died. He hadn't read the Bible to that particular place. He hadn't seen up to that level. And I said, okay. So there's a covenant for us that I can live long. And I looked at the life of Jacob. Jacob spoke to his children. And he said he was about to depart. That let me bless them all. And he cursed those that offended. And when he finished, he took his two legs and he put it upon the bed. And he relaxed, and then he died. It's not that he was killed. He released his life. I read the Bible. Paul Apostle. He said, should I die? He said, if I die, it will be a gain to the heavens. But if I don't die, it will be useful to those on earth. He said, I don't know what to do. He said, I will still wait. And I thought Paul was speaking to death. And he said, he's not ready to go. But Paul knew a secret. And there's three different things. And he said, what you know in the world, that is what you say. How you enjoy your life. From the beginning was the word, and the word was the word, and the word was the word. So by it, everything was made. And I said, no, I was last longer than my father. Why? Because I know something that he wasn't aware of. I'm going somewhere today. I'm sent to somebody. I want you to stretch out both hands. Everything that they collected from me. The Bible said the thief came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I came that they may have life and more abundantly. Ten, ten, John 10, 10. Luke 4, 6. The Bible said all these things are collected from me. And truly are collected from Ada and Eve. But Jesus came. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Verse 18. He said, Now power on earth and in heaven. And Jesus collected it back. I've told you this story before. I'll repeat it before we pray. I said a child was born and he was given to a carer. And the carer was taking care of the child. The nanny. And the mother came one day. I wanted to take the child back. And the child was just weeping constantly. And the child, the mother thought it was because the child missed her. And they took the child home. But the child kept, kept crying. And he gave the child everything. But the child kept crying. And kept crying throughout the day. And I had to go to the hospital. Maybe there's something else wrong with the child. And the doctor examined. And didn't see anything wrong with the child. And the child is stopped crying for three days. 
the child kept crying and didn't stop crying and then they had to go to church and they began to pray that this child mustn't die he mustn't die crying as they were praying the spirit of God descended and said stop praying that something was collected from this child and if that thing is not restored that's how the child will keep crying where are you bringing it from they said from the nanny they said go back there and they are collecting something from the child and he got to the nanny's place and he took a huge machete and said mother I shall be I cut you in pieces what have you collected from the child she said she didn't collect anything she said turn away and then they lifted up their hands and said I will confess she said she took something from the child she said she saw the child as a good star and they collected it the world can collect things they do exchange they collected it from Esau Jacob Connected and said, Give me porridge, and I will give you, I will give you the best. We don't know how they exchange, but the Bible said, In the spirit, learned in Jacob's house, and he said, You know, till he said that he didn't receive it. Where are they taking you to? Who paid for you? Who took care of you? Where did you go to?
And he went to pray on the mountain. He knew his wife was a witch, but he didn't tell her. He said he wanted to pray. As he got to the mountain, he put the Bible down and he was praying. And he just replaced his Bible. He didn't see his Bible again. He felt he was those on the mountain that taken his Bible and he finished his prayer. And he did everything. And as he got home, he said, How is the Bible? He said, The Bible was so He said, This is the Bible, take it. She was telling me that she had to take this. I can connect it from your sleep. The work can restore it back. If you look at today's lesson, they were calling the Bible the book of the law. If they want to fight in the court, they will open the book of the law. 
to be grateful at the end. Oh, Lord, you're talking about Christian. If the Lord will find me in the situation, they will say it has to do with the session. So I'm saying, they will not say it without quoting what is in the law. In the spirit, there is the battle of the law. Hear me very well. I'm going somewhere. What they can make them not afraid to is this. In the spirit, as we have laws on earth, there are laws in the spirit as well. Do we understand? The devil went to meet God and he said he commands that just jump down. And he said he's in the law that your God is who you should say. What you are saying is not your right. Matthew 4. What does the Bible tell us? Then was Jesus led up the spirit into the wilderness yes, to be tempted of the devil. Yes, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, yes, yes. he was afterward and hung, hungered. Mm -hmm. And when the tempter came to him, yes, he said, if thou be the son of God, yes. command that these stones be made bread. Yes. But he answered and said, mm -hmm. it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, yes. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes, then the devil taken him up into the holy city yes. and set him on a pinnacle of the temple yes, and said unto him, if thou be the son of God, yes. cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, yes. and in their hands, they shall bear thee up, yes, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yes, Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Oh, God, 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 God. Jesus, Jesus was, was quoting that it has been written. Whatever is written, it's a law. And if you don't know the law, then you cannot rebuke the devil. Even though we are not lawyers, we should know the law still. Now, this is what my right is. This is what is not my right. And then the police just knocks on your door. Before you open the door for them, you are entitled, as someone resident here, that was the uh, warrant to search my house. If they don't have, they need to go and collect it before they can come in. If they get to court, they'll be blamed. They need to collect a warrant before they can come into your property. They will show them that this is the order they received from the court. That means you have right to certain laws. Once they hear that, they too they will go back. Why? Because they know you know what you're talking about. So if you don't know it, they will just put fear in your heart. You see that if the police call someone in, in Nigeria, they say they are lawyers, they will just say go. They know that they are superior to them. But if you say, please, please, they say you are tired, 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 why? Because they know they don't know the law. That's how the devil as well is afflicting us. Because he knows that we don't know the word. The Bible tells us that it's the book of the law. And that is what we can use to fight against the devil. Once he has it, he has no choice. He will depart from us. He will know his boundary and where he cannot go to. Here where I'm going. Some people are dying and they don't become what the heavens have assigned. That's what's painful to me. They were tormented. Let's look at a man in the Bible. Luke 16. Luke 16. From 19 to 23. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, there was a beggar called Lazarus. This man knew God. He feared God. 
Even the heavens honored him. But the Bible said he died as a beggar. Hear me today. This is what I know. And I always tell us that I'm going somewhere. I will be served as royalty. I will, to, I will get to where my father's wow. generation will not get to. Because I know a secret in the world. I will not die as those that came ahead of me died. It has to do with if you know something in the world. Here. The Bible said all his life. He was a beggar all his life. In the times of our fathers, they knew God, but they were only taught in terms of prayer. They didn't know the word of God. They can pray and the dead rise, but they didn't have money. They would live with the house with the, the pan and they would build the house with palm trees. And they cannot even send their children to school. And they cannot eat what they desire. Truly, they know God. But they didn't know certain secrets about God. Church, hear me. If you want to be greater than your mates, that means that you know something that they are unaware of. So Lazarus ended up dying that way as much as he knew God. And he entered heaven. It doesn't mean that if one is poor, that's when they'll make it into heaven. Even the rich can make it to heaven. So, don't let anyone tell you that if you are rich, then it's a sin. It's a lie. Yes, ma'am. Yes. 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 And that's where all his faith was attached. Yes, ma'am. And what I see what? Yes. What if I or do not? Yes, ma'am. What is she? What is she? And I go. Yes, ma'am. I tell you what I want. I tell you. As much as in you, God. That's where I read it in the Bible that the angel carried someone's corpse. They see me, that they are going home. That angel is carrying them, they are going home. The Bible tells us that an angel came to escort them to them. That from the heaven, the angel was brought down. That's how good his works were before the Lord. But all his life, he was in tribulation. There's someone that is listening. You are normally so pained. You, you go past the shop and you say, How much is this wristwatch? Uh, and it's a nice one. And you look at your hand. I don't have the money to buy it. You can't buy the clothes. You can't eat what you want. People are calling you to help them, but you are just blocking them because you can't help them. Because you don't have. But the life that God wants you to live is not so. It's not the life that Jesus died for. It's not his plan for you. He has good thoughts better than what you think. Don't let your life be like that of Lazarus. He knew God. He was holy. But still, he suffered till death. Yes, ma'am. Yes. 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 When the rich man got to get back to the other side and he spoke to Abraham, and he saw Abraham in God's place, he was amazed. He said, Father, 
He suffered to death. Abraham said, I did suffer. I enjoyed on, on earth. Everything that they were doing, I did. And I still need it to happen. That's where the understanding is different. And he was asking Abraham, how did you go about it? So Abraham knew something that the beggar did not know. Please, in God's name, what you know will make you superior. Some people know how to take care of their mother. And some people don't know. They'll be crawling before their mother. Some people will say, ah, look at you, why are you so stupid? The reason why they are crawling before their mother, they are not so And the reason why they are not doing such, you understand. And mother is an idol in herself. And the father is an idol in himself. So if you don't know it, the blessing they carry, you can't receive it. If a child works, their first salary for the first time, they give it to their father. And the father will receive it. The child doesn't look up against the elder. The elder is speaking, the child will be silent. In the past, the child will not look against the elder. And when the elder is speaking, the child will be silent. And now the word has changed. The mother is speaking, and the child is saying their own as well. But we call it a custom. But we are losing something. Yes, what you are and Jesus was warning us Only on the moment you go back that there, any you child die. that abuses the father oh, and mother, their yeah. light will be put out into oh, utter darkness. darkness. Yeah. They will be walking in darkness. Yo, you appear, now when you darkness it. appears before you, there is no one that will see it. Why? Why is darkness? The husband and wife they won't be able to see them because they are in the darkness. And when they are and some of your mates know. How do they know? Because they read the Bible. They can't look against their mother. Yes, mom. Yes, mom. See, if words want to come out, they will just prostrate. And they'll hold on to the leg of the mother. They'll say, Mommy, I plead. Please. I'm, I apologize. In the past. A good elder will say, is finished in my heart. Why? That child knows they don't want to receive curses. And that the father has the key to lock the door against their life. I'm telling you the secrets that you know and the ones you don't know. He normally eats. The mother eats from his back. What's he doing? And they wanted to capture him. And they did all things. But they were not able to capture him. Who wanted to capture him? The prophet of God. And God said, You cannot capture this particular person because there's something they are doing. Go and change your prayer form and say they should misbehave. Wealthy, a king. And when the mother wants to eat, he will kneel down and he will bend. And the mother will put the food on, on his back and she will eat till she finishes. And the mother will say, Child, the, the enemies will not touch you, they will not be able to capture you. And anyone born of a woman will not have power over you. One day, and he said, Mother, I'm a king. You can't be eating from my back. The mother didn't speak. So let me buy you a very nice table. 
It's okay, that's what the mother said. And he gave her a table. And she was eating from the table. And that's when she stopped praying for him. God bless you. And that prayer was, the mother was praying for him was going so hard. She said, honor your father and mother. You see that your dreams may be done. That's the law of the Lord. Are she talking about the secrets that you know? So Lazarus knew something. Abraham knew something. And Lazarus was not aware. Lazarus should not have died with them. Abraham knew God. And he died with riches. Genesis 13 verse 2. Genesis 13 verse 2. 1 and 2. Abraham went up out of Egypt. Yes, ma'am. He and his wife. Yes. And all that he had. Yes. And Lord him yes. into the south. Yes, ma'am. And Abraham was very rich in cattle. Ma, very what, ma'am? Very rich in cattle. Again, ma'am. He was very rich in cattle. Abraham, 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 Ab
and he released himself and he was flogged as they were flogging him in our own bodies the sickness was coming out by my duties, you have been made whole. I can't make you run me away. The reason is what is it? Whoa, I mean, I mean, I saw him. None are beating in vain. Yeah, and then the sickness is beating in our body. You are yeah, the one that doesn't believe in the word. That's why it's not working for you. The day that you believe in the word, in God's word, then it will work for you. I had also when I was young. Back to back, all those things. I could not eat beans. I could not eat any pepper thing. I could not eat hot. I could not take cold. Seven up. Seven up. And I called myself one day that in life I already <laughs> <laughs> When they collected all this, <laughs> what will you now eat in your life? I'm sent to you. That sickness was sent into your body. Go, 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 You will raise up your right hand. You can intercede for someone else. Amen. You will mention the person's name. If you want to stand a gap for them. If you have any sickness, put your hand on that part of your body. You say the word of God says to me that by your beating, I am made whole. I go into the combat and die. I speak to you, sickness. And if I don't eat, we'll end up in the hospital. When the stomach ache starts, I'll just be weeping. And I'll take the food. And I'll just keep it. And I will go, go back home with the empty plate. And I said, if you kill me, kill me, Lord, this sickness must depart from me. I didn't know that I would eventually become a pastor and I would need to be able to pray and fast. But if I had also, I wouldn't be able to fast and they would have destroyed me. The devil knew that I would need it and then he just gifted me with it. Everything that they sent into your life to stop you except you don't say I'm about to release you. I just want to push you into something. Here. Everything that was created, it hears the word. What did I say? Everything that was made, it hears the word. Everything. Even the cake that was done, it hears words. 
If you ask it to fall, it will fall. Are you here? That is what I was about to end the service. And he said we won't read from, from the screen. We should already know it's off head. And that's how the computer went off. And I wanted to purpose. Did you put it up on the so who was there? So, I don't know. I don't know. Who now put it up? Because they had already commanded from here that we should read it off head. Everything here is words. Jesus spoke to the wings and he heard. Moses spoke to the ground, it heard. He spoke to the dead one, it heard. He spoke to the dry bones, it heard. Everything now God hears God. And God commanded the rain that she go and be a light and not and he heard. Everything that God created, he hears the word. You are the one that hasn't spoken to it yet. There are some people that know God. Once they get pregnant, they'll say they're going to work to you. And they'll call the name of the child. Don't trouble me. It's like they're speaking with the infant. Oh no, we imagine that. And that's how the child to be behaved in the room. They haven't come out yet. He's already hearing the word. I speak to that sickness in your body. Psalm 1844. They said they will hear my voice and they will bow. 45. That the strangers will be afraid. And by fear, they will come out. If you hear that sounds as tough as a On this mountain, if cancer has been healed, diabetes, fibroid, those that have been booked for operations, when they get to the hospital, they don't see it anymore. Those that things have been swollen in their body and disappeared. I stand before the one that called me. And this covenant of calling to you. That's why he brought him here. No, 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 What will back the word is this? Faith. Your faith. If you just say it without faith attached, it won't work. You must believe that God says so. Everyone else can lie, but God will never lie. God is my witness to this word. We used to do the TV program, Faith, Faith TV, Sky 590. I wanted to go to the Faith program and I was reading the Bible and I read Jeremiah 32 27 that I'm the God of all flesh. It's like I was giving something to drink and the, my bones were strengthened. And then we're on the TV program. I said, everyone with a sickness, put your hands there. And there was a woman that gave a testimony. She said, her child uses medication. Without the medication, they can't go to the toilet. But as they use this in the morning, she said immediately, that medication came out of the physics. And they saw the medication. It hadn't um, digested. Someone was saying they were in a wheelchair. And they rose. They backed up the word. So God, this is how powerful you are. So you have power by the water, the eyes, the ears, the mouth, the hand, the neck. You created it. He has the spare parts of everyone. I don't know what has been destroyed. They say you cannot give back to you. Is the doctor not God? They say you will see again. The doctor that said him not God. 
She went all over the place. They were not able to heal her. It's when she met the word that the word set her free. If Jesus doesn't heal you, no one else can heal you. My question today is, Jesus is calling you. I want to give my life to Jesus. I know you've done charms. You've gone to have these places. They've made decisions on you. They've given you concussions. They have given you soap. They did so many things. You have used all this chance. Still, it didn't help you. But there's someone that can save you. The one that healed, the one that will have the issue of blood for 12 years, the power still exists. I want to give my back. I want to receive him as Lord and Savior. I want to reject the devil and sin. Put your hand on your chest. Say, Jesus, Son of God, I confess my sins to you. I reject the devil, sins, and the works of his hands. I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Use your blood to cleanse me. Send the Holy Spirit to help me. To forsake the things that are hard to forsake. Make me stand to the end. Let me see you before death. At the end of my journey in life, have me in your kingdom. Jesus. Jesus, mighty name, amen. Ask what you desire from God. Anything, I believe the one that called you. Jesus is right by you. And he will release something. Thank you, Jesus. Tell God, anything that is causing you pain, after we pray, go to the hospital yourself. Tell the doctor to do a check. If God is the one I serve, if I attach nothing to his name, if I know him truly, Jesus will take you into the theater right now and he will walk through the operation and he will heal you and everything will go back to normal. Maybe you saw a menstrual pain, anything, tell Jesus. Lord, I want you to heal me. I'm entitled to your healing. What you died for for the Calvary. You said, put peace. Let me be able to eat what I desire. Not having the, the baby, the sickness. Tell Jesus. Tell God what you want. If there's anything that is causing you pain, tell God I want it. Hold on to your own time and be praying. The world will not torment you. They will not torment my spouse. They will not torment my children. You should pray that's the little time that they are going to Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I need you. Man, I need you. 
Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus. God at least in the highest place. We thank you, Lord, because you are God. We say thank you, Jesus. We are holding our lives. Our supporter. Glory unto your name. Pray for us, O God. We release in your name be released. We bow and not bow for us. I ask for signs. Every sickness, 20, 30 years, the sickness of a day, a month, let it disappear in the name of Jesus. By the time you get to the hospital, you see any issues. Everyone, that something is swelling in your body, by the time you get back home, you want to die in the name of Jesus. Everyone that you are standing in the gap for, you want to die in the name of Jesus. As you put the water on the ground, everyone that says they will not allow, except your death is announced. If I obtain mercy from the one that sent me before 3 p.m., I death in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus.